It has been a long-standing tradition that the former and current President of the United States work together for their love of country. Both men would put aside their differences and political ideology to focus on what is good for the American people and our future. However, that is not the case when it comes to Barack Obama and his lack of respect for our country and President Trump, but is anyone honestly shocked? This past year, Obama was finally reduced back to just being an average citizen of the country, and no longer the most powerful man on the planet which apparently has not settled well with the egotistical Obama. So, every chance that Obama gets he takes a jab at the president and virtually undermining his role in leading the country efficiently. Not only has Obama been vocal about his displeasure with President Trump in the White House, but he has also set up presidents just a few miles away from the White House to continue monitoring Trump's movements. Now, it appears that Obama really stepped over the line after being caught red-handed attempting to destroy President Trump which happens to be a federal crime. Over the past year, Obama has been doing all that he can to undermine President Trump's administration whether it was when Obama followed Trump overseas during his first trip as president or the G20 summit meeting in Germany Obama has always been close behind. Now, all of those are horrible offenses, but none could honestly be as bad as what Obama was just caught doing overseas over the past week. Obama has been on a world tour again, stopping off and speaking to world leaders in some pathetic attempt to relive his glory years. Though instead of the failed president just stopping by, picking up some souvenirs and going on his way, Obama has been busy mocking President Trump on a world stage. Barack Obama was first seen with President Eleven Jinping of China after President Trump just had a successful visit a few short weeks ago. Here is more from Bloomberg, underscore Obama opened his trip Tuesday in Shanghai where he delivered a speech at an event hosted by business non-profit the Global Alliance of SMEs, which was attended by some 2,500 industry executives, according to the organization's website. He stressed in his speech that China U.S. relations were the most consequential bilateral ties in the world, and dialogue was the only way to solve disagreements. According to the Shanghai-based news website The Paper. Underscore, underscore as part of the three-nation tour, he'll also meet with Indian Prime Minister Narendra in Modi. Underscore, underscore Obama's office said in a news release Tuesday that the former president had forged a close and cooperative partnership with President Xi on issues ranging from growing the global economy to combating climate change, and he looks forward to catching up with his former counterpart. Underscore, okay. Here is where the issue lies with Obama chatting with President Xi. Obama is no longer a representative of America and holds no current position with the current administration so, in all reality, he has no business discussing anything with President Eleven, but more importantly, IT is against the law. Obama is inserting himself into world affairs that he is no longer a part of and could cause further issues which is why he needs to stop and fast. However, that is not the Obama way, and we found him traveling world inserting himself into more American affairs without proper clearance. Obama then traveled to India and France slamming President Trump and peddling global warming that has hardly proven to be true. Twitter.com web link, while Obama was in India, he mocked President Trump saying that he has more Twitter fans than the president. And look, I've got 100 million Twitter followers. I actually have more than other people who use it more often, said Obama, followed by, think before you tweet. Then, Obama went on to slam President Trump again undermining his policies and saying, we have a temporary absence of American leadership on climate change. Underscore I grant you that at the moment we have a temporary absence of American leadership on the issue, the former president noted which was met with laughter from the room full of French former ministers and CEOs at the invite-only event, according to Reuters. Underscore, underscore however, he noted, you're seeing American companies in states and cities continuing to work to meet targets and stay on track. Underscore, again, this is a private citizen speaking poorly about policy overseas which in fact, goes against the Logan Act. Now, you'll be asking yourself, what is the Logan Act? And how does this apply to Obama and his worldwide bash Trump tour? 
the Logan Act was implemented in 1799 to prevent citizens from like Obama from talking against the policy of the U.S. government. As of yet, no one has been charged in our nation's history with a violation against the Logan Act, but Obama is so intent on leaving a legacy, this could be right up his alley. It is disgusting that Obama is traveling the world bashing Trump without any repercussions, but that is what happens when the U.S. government is riddled with swamp creatures. For any of this to stop President Trump will have to take a tougher stance against those that seek to destroy the country and his presidency by making an example of one of them. And, Obama may be the best candidate for to make history. H. T. Gateway Pundit, Independent, follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily. Thank you.